Hey everyone, it's Kim the Homeschooling Grammy and today I'm going to be sharing with you what we are using for history and geography for the 2021-2022 homeschool year. And this is a collaboration that I am blessed to be co-hosting with, with Ingrid over at the Ingrid Chronicles and Jennifer for Family and Free Homeschool. I am so excited. Make sure that you check out both of their channels. I will link them down in the description box. They are awesome homeschool mamas and they do a bunch of other things as well. Also make sure to check out the playlist because there are going to be other homeschoolers joining in on this collab. So if you're interested, please stick around and we will get started. followers of my channel we made some huge changes to our homeschool for the upcoming homeschool year and actually I say upcoming but we've already started we already got started we were so excited we decided to go ahead and get started we are year-round homeschoolers and yeah so we are doing sunlight here's the big old binder and so what we chose after much discussion with a rep from sunlight who was absolutely amazing by what by the way um, we decided that we we're going to do the B plus C intro to world history. Um, cause I was going back and forth. Should I do B? Should I do C? And I was flip flopping. Um, but I wanted to not redo American history again, cause we just kind of just came out of American history and I, we haven't really touched on world history. So this is going to do a little bit of both. So super excited to do that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you um, the books that are going to go along with this world history. And at some point I am in the near future going to be going through this big old binder and showing you how it works and what I did and how I arranged it. But I also knew that I have all of these upcoming videos that I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what we are using. And that's really what today is about. I'm just going to show you what we're using and what it included. So let me just pop this thing open a little bit. So what's really cool is it comes with this map. And so like what we've been doing right now is we've been working on a lot of the stuff that we're doing is coming from maps number three. And so after we read something that is assigned in the assigned portion, um, we go ahead and we look for these areas on the map. So that is really super fun. As you can see, it's a dry erase, so you can write on these, erase them, et cetera, et cetera. So this comes in my little packet. And as long as I'm doing maps, I'm gonna show you this other one. And normally I would hang something like this on the wall, um, but I really don't have the wall space because I don't really technically have a homeschool room. I have a homeschool space, a homeschool closet. And if you wanna know about my little homeschool closet, I'll put an iCard up there and you can check it out. So here's like a big old map of the United States, a blank map. How cool is that? And then if you do a little flipsy on the other side, there's this big old map of the world. How fun is that? Dry erase then again. But as you see, it folds up nice and neatly. So it's perfect. We can take it out. We can use it. We can put it back. Fun, right? Okay. So the other thing that we are going to be doing is this timeline book. Um, it's a blank timeline from 5000 BC to the present. Really cool. And we already started marking a little bit in the timeline. Um, we haven't used any of the stickers yet that come with it as well because we haven't gotten to these individuals yet. But we have marked other things on our timeline. But you can see like there's like these little stickers and you put them on your timeline as you're going through. I think that is so fun. Hands on, it's fun, 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 fun. Okay, so these are the books that we are going to be reading and doing. And I'm also gonna show you the geography portion as well, which, you know, obviously the maps are geography, but there's more, there's more. Okay, so we actually have already started reading this book. Um, window on the world and operation world prayer resource this book is so good 
super, super, super good book for real. Um, and I'll just give you like a little glimpse of why I love this book so much. Find out how God is changing the lives of families everywhere through prayer from the frozen Arctic to the hottest desert on the highest mountains and in crowded cities. So you're not just studying, you know, a certain part of the world and just leaving it there. What you're doing is, I'll give you an example. So there's a world map in here as well. So you can refer to it. Um, and we just got done. And I don't think God, you know, God, there's no mistakes. Like God is awesome. There are never any mistakes. We were just studying Israel. That was like one of our first reading things was on Israel. And how appropriate for right now for what is going on over there in the Middle East with Israel and the Gaza and all of that. But what it does is here at the end, once you get done reading, to help you pray for Israel. And it gives you ideas of how to pray for Israel so that you can take time with your student to pray, to get together and to pray for other people around the world. And this book does this for every single country area that you study. Awesome. Loving this so far. So another book that's included is the Usborne Book of World History. And we have started in this too as well. Um, and like I said, I'm going to go through more about how it all works right now. I'm just showing the books and then, you know, kind of giving you an overview of what we are doing. Also, we will be reading the Usborne Time Traveler, and this is Visit Medieval Times, the Viking Age, the Roman World, and Ancient Egypt. <clears throat> so this is really cool. And you can tell it's allergy season for me. <clears throat> Excuse me, because... All I do is clear my throat lately. That's all I do. Um, and then we're also going to be doing Tut's Mummy Lost and Found. And that's why I love sunlight. I love all the reading and the read alouds. Um, and I've seen such a difference even in this short time period for my granddaughter. Like she's excited. She asks to read and sometimes we'll get done reading and she'll be like, well, I want to read more. And I'm like, no, you know. Let's pace ourselves. <laughs> um, and so another book we're going to be reading is George Muller, The Guardian of Bristol's Orphans. And Gladys L. L. Ward, I guess, I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. The Adventure of a Lifetime. And so the other portion of geography that's really fun, and we already started this as well, is called Geography Songs. And as you can see, the CD is already out of here because we've been listening to it and it's so fun. Hope loves it. And it is. It's really fun. But I'll kind of open the book here because um, we haven't actually used the book yet. We've only been listening to the songs. Um, but it comes with inside of here. Let me see if I can get it out. Here again. Like this big blank map. Huge. I'm not going to open it all the way, but you get the idea. Huge. Um, and it has like information like what the continents and oceans, um, the British Isles, Greenland, Canada. Like it just gives information on each of these areas. And it's all throughout the map. Really, really cool. And then there is this book here. And you see how there's all kinds of maps and information about different areas of the world. Isn't this fun? Super, super fun. We are so excited to do this curriculum this year. Um, so for all of you who have been long time sunlighters, let me know down in the, the description box what it is that you love so much about this curriculum. I can tell you what we love already. I love that everything is brought back to the Word of God. And I love that it's loaded with literature. Loaded. Okay, everyone, there you have it. What we're going to be using in history and geography for the 2021-2022 homeschool year. Make sure that you check out the playlist. You will be so blessed by these other mamas that are going to share what they're going to be using in their homeschools this coming school year as well. So don't forget. 
check it out and stick around because I'm going to be sharing more of what we are using in the upcoming school year. God bless and take care. I will talk to you again soon.